hello guys so this is question 2.52 and the statement of this question is suppose that in a senior college class of 500 students it is found that 210 smoke 258 drink alcoholic beverages 216 eat between meals 122 smoke and drink alcoholic beverages 83 eat between meals and drink alcoholic beverages 97 smoke and eat between meals and 52 engage in all Three of these bad health practices okay if a member of this senior class is selected at random find the probability that the student okay so now we are given three case studies in which we have to find the probabilities of each of these cases but before doing or diving into the details of this let me first write the data here whatever is available with us so the first thing is the total number of students so we have the total number of students which is represented by n subscript t so these are basically 500 so we have 500 students similarly uh, it is found that 210 smokes okay so uh, the number of students with smoke is n s and that is word that is 210 uh, 258 drink alcoholic beverages so let me represent it with n subscript d and that is 258 okay this is here and similarly 216 eat between meals and let me write it n subscript e and here this is what this is 216 okay. these are the different uh, data samples or data information which has which are given to us uh, similarly 122 smoke and drink alcoholic beverages so let me write it like 122 smoke and drink alcoholic beverages so let me write it smoke and let me write this intersection as the and operator and here and d and this is what 122 okay, so this is the data here uh, similarly 83 eat between meals and drink alcoholic beverages so n e and uh, eat alcoholic beverages drink alcoholic beverages so n of d that is what that is 83 and the last one here is what 97 smoke and eat between meals so that is smoke and eat between meals and that is what that is 97 so these are the six data points and the last one here is that 52 engage in all three of these bad health practices so nine uh, 52 of it are smoke and drink and eat between meals so that is basically 52 okay. so these are the data samples which are given to us let me represent them with this one let me separate them out and this one as well okay so these are the given data points now what do we have to do we have to find out what the first part a is the part a of it is smokes but does not drink alcoholic beverages okay so part a is we have to find the probability that a person smoke okay but doesn't drink alcoholic beverages okay so and doesn't drink so let me represent it okay. uh, so how to find it out in order to do these type of questions let me consider another type of the diagram that is called a Venn diagram okay so let me represent here this circle which basically represent the number of persons with smoke okay and similarly that is n of d which represents the number of persons with drink okay so here in between them we have this area which basically shows me that the number of people which smoke and drink as well okay so this is the area in between them which is common okay so which area is this and which area is this let me represent them with the different colors 
so this area is the per the area in which person smoke but doesn't drink okay so this is the area and what is this area this is the area in which the person doesn't smoke but drinks okay so that is basically the overall, overall area okay so what do i have to find out i have to find out the probability of it because that is what we have to find out and that is the area we have to calculate it okay so in order to calculate it what do i have to do i have to find out n s and n d complement okay the area or the number of people who smoke but doesn't drink okay so in order to find it out we can see here that how to find it out we can see that all of this area is basically n of s which is represented here by this n of s so this is n of s and from it i have to subtract this area okay so this is the common area in between n d and n s so i have to subtract it so therefore minus n s and and d okay so i have to subtract these areas so let me write their value so the ns is here which is given 210 okay. and do i know the value of ns and nd let me search so that is also given here so that is minus 120 okay so calculating it what i will get i will get here 88 okay so that is what this is the number of people who smoke but doesn't drink okay so in order to find the probability of it what do i have to do i have to find the number of people okay who smoke but doesn't drink divided by the total number of people so now i know all of this so that is 88 which i have calculated now and this is 500 so this is now the answer of my question which i wanted to find out okay so that is the solution of the part a of my question which i have done here okay? 